Ellsbury from Acrylic Art Paintings. Welcome to my channel. So I have this canvas that I'm not too happy about. So I'm going to use the balloon technique to work on it. Um, make sure with these colors, um, black, yellow, and white to match the, the dried canvas already. Um, anyway, yeah, just wanted to point out it's already dry. So I'm going to be making another video probably in about two weeks or so with a wet, a fresh paint using um, this technique and uh, maybe bigger paddles. This is latex paint direct from, from the can that I just pour into my bottles. So it has no medium, it has no, I mean, no silicone, it has nothing but the paint, okay? Um, so I'm just making little puddles of paint when the paint comes out. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to try different things to see what um, I can come up with. So I'm going to start with that, a very clean... Um, balloon and I'm just gonna push and there is my beautiful smashed paint so you can see I like also how the balloon looks but it starts to stain other parts of my canvas great okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue to work on it I, I just wipe my balloon and um, We'll go from there. I'm gonna start adding white. Okay, so this technique, I have to tell you, it has its pros and it has its cons, like anything else in life. So this technique, the pros are that it saves paint. Um, you can do this with kids. Um, in this case, I'm using it as a background. Kids love to work with balloons. And um, as you can see, I just wipe my balloon in there and I will continue to keep smashing my paint. Which leads to my next point about the cons. is a tedious, repetitive process. And that's all you do throughout the whole entire time that you're working with the canvas. It's just putting dots and smashing the paint. It is nice with kids, as you can see, I'm just, without cleaning the balloon, now I'm just spreading the paint, because that's exactly what kids would do. <laughs> so now it's wearing out, and so it's time to put more paint in the canvas. So now I'm adding yellow. Looks like I'm having a little bit of trouble with this yellow. Um, which can happen too. I like to show you guys the process because some of you um, like to try these techniques. And I like to show you what potentially you will go through uh, when you're trying them. So when you do, don't freak out. It's just recognize that it's part of the process. Okay? There are no rules in this. We're just having fun. At least I am having fun. I don't even know about you, but I'm sure you will when you when you try it. Now, as you can see now, I'm not doing puddles anymore. I have changed to just doing random dots. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to start blending them. I want to see what it does because now I've discovered that the paint sticks to the balloon in patterns. And so I'm trying to create more color more than um, just making little tiny puddles of... Um, of paint and the reason I'm doing this is because one of our friends in the group she makes cards and she uses 
her fluid art as backgrounds for her beautiful, beautiful cards that she makes. So she's been trying to learn this technique and she tried it with a wet canvas with fresh paint. So I tried to do this before in my previous video and got a different effect than what she's getting. And so, like I mentioned, I will do one with fresh paint in about a couple of weeks, but I went back to my previous video and realized that the paint I used to create like the Medusa, like the jellyfish effect, is I used the leftover paints to do it and those paints had medium in it. And so, of course, it's gonna be different. Like I said, every single thing, product, anything that we use on fluid art can alter the final design. And so there we go. Now I'm using the yellow on top and adding a little bit of color but you see it's different than see it looks differently than when I did the puddles at the beginning these ones if I smash the color um, by um, by itself first it creates a deep uh, deeper color effect so I like that guys this is what I love about fluid art is so entertaining is so educating it's um it's, it's like a world of possibilities and so where the sky is the limit it's all to our imagination if you don't like the color palette that i'm using great no problem you use your own i'm using this because that's what the background was and that's what i wanted to do you don't like it you do your own colors see there are there's no rules for this. This is my project, just like if you try it, you're, you're, it's gonna be your project. And so um, I do my art and I just share it with you guys. <clears throat> um, I have to apologize a little bit if I'm um, sounding a little, uh, my, my voice is um, um, <clears throat> a little funky. I've been fighting a sinus infection for about eight days now, I had my first set of antibiotics and it didn't work. So I'm on my second set right now with another anti-inflammatory medication and I started them last night and it's done wonders for me, but I'm still not at 100%. So now, see, now I'm liking more what I'm seeing. I like that effect. Um... See, I wanted to show you this. So now I have covered pretty much half the canvas. But what I'm noticing is that I'm covering the orange background that I liked. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna continue with these three colors. And then at the end, I'm gonna add a touch of red in order to blend and recover that beautiful orange that I love so much. So what's your favorite color? Tell me. I, I thought I liked red, but I do like a lot of orange, I've noticed. So now to different, give it a different look, I'm using the hammer. And see what's going to do for us. And so there you go. Like I said, there are no rules. You just do as much as a little or little as you want. Just make sure that you don't do this when you're angry. Because <laughs> you're going to hit so hard, you're going to tear your canvas. Now I'm going to use my balloon to smudge um, the paint a little bit. See? Now it's a different look. It's what I was telling you. Anything we do, I mean, affects the pain in one way or, the not, or another. See, I will continue um, doing the same technique with the 
dots of paint. And like I said at the beginning, this is a repetitive uh, technique. See? Oh, I like what I see at the bottom of my ballooning here. And so I will just continue smashing and see, I, I like this better than what I saw at the beginning, but also, um, like I said, you know, it's up to us. If this video has inspired you, I will um, invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And this is already dried. Like I said, I would add touches of red. And you can leave it like that, or you can do try to do a flower. Um, most of you know that I don't know how to draw. So I'm going to help myself here with a little kitchen bowl to create a circle. And this circle is going to help me for guidance. I'm gonna find the middle of that circle and I'm going to use my pen there to mark and put a point in it. Then I'm gonna use this circle to guide myself to create or attempt to create a flower. Now I'm gonna use my red paint because there is no way I'm going to see the lines with my paint with my pen in this uh, background. And so I'm creating the petals with my red painting here. And I am using the circumference I just drew as a guidance, like I said. There you go, see? I am um, just drawing the lines in here that later on I'm going to use. Um, I haven't told you, I am intending here to do a hibiscus because they remind me of my, um, my home country. They were everywhere. I love those flowers. Reminds me of my grandma. She loved to garden. So um, I am trying to do here the division of the petals. That's why I'm creating those tiny um, lines in there. I, I am going to also uh, put in the description the video that I used that helped me um, creating this uh, flower design. Because you know, I, I you know, I, I, I drive, I draw stick figures, picture, uh, people. I mean, you know that. I don't. <laughs> I'm not an artist. <laughs> so now I'm drawing the stem in here. I know it's upside down for you guys, but I'm gonna. Turn it around for you guys to see what I'm talking about. And I'm just doing a lightly ruffle edge to my petals in here. Uh, another thing, important thing to remember is that this canvas had a lot of paint. Remember that I'd already done a pour and it was dry. And so I don't want to put too much paint in it, that fresh paint that is going to crackle when it dries. So I, my thought is to use just a little bit of the fresh paint and uh, use the tip of my bottle here to fill it up, see? It's not like a regular pour where we just put a bunch of paint and then try to stretch it. Right now, I'm just trying to put a little bit of paint and then kind of smear it with the tip of the bottle. Now, um, I'm going to use this uh, black to kind of outline it and uh, give it a little bit more color more dimension instead of just a plaster of red in there and it also I'm also hoping that it's going to help me define um, 
the the shape okay there it is and there's the stem now I'm using the tip of my bottle to fill out the petals now since you already know what I'm doing you don't need to be listening to me and I am going to put you in um, double speed in here so you can follow. I know I said you didn't have to listen to me, guys, but you know what? I forgot to tell you that I've created a Pinterest profile that I'm going to put here for you. And I've been working really hard to create boards for acrylic painting techniques and um, fluid art, resin boards, and all kinds of fun ideas to make. So I'll invite you to stop by and, and visit and check it out, and hopefully you'll get some inspiration in there. Right here, I am just adding some pollen with my yellow paint which is working amazingly. <laughs> it's fluently going right now. <laughs> and now I'm going to put some dots in the center, which the, floor, the flower doesn't have, but I'm going to put them in there anyway because it's my painting. <laughs> and I don't want just a blob of red in there. So there you go. So I want to show you, give you up close in here to let you see how it looks. There you go. See? And now I'm going to let it dry and show you how it dry like I always do. Fresh and dry. See? There you go. As you can see, it did not crack. It don't, whatever space you see in there is just the, um, the way I moved the spaces I left with the tip of my bottle. Um, and the only thing I would suggest is to try to draw the circle a little farther down to center it better. So thank you for joining me today. If you decide to try this technique, Come and share it with us in our group on Facebook. Till then, keep painting. <laughs>